so we will see snaps in microsketch okay when you are drawing some object we must uh, utilize this snaps so we can easily draw our object see when i am just uh, taking some tool here and then going near to some object we can able to see the yellow color cross mark is coming which means this is like a end point and when you going near to the midpoint it is also showing the midpoint and when you are just going to the end point again it is showing it is also showing that point also okay like this we can able to use the snaps okay if it is not showing here how you can take it from where so you can just click the icon over here this is for snap mode so when you click there we can able to see lots of options there for example you want only midpoint so just to select the midpoint only then you can see only the midpoint coming so the initial and then the end points not coming so like this from here we can able to make use of the snaps okay so here we also have origin when you click the origin it will show only the origin so when you click somewhere it will take the origin point automatically this is what the snap option so origin is applicable only for the cells so cells is similar to the blocks in autocad so if you have some circle so when you click here and if you are selecting center then you can able to see the center of the circle is showing with the yellow mark if you click somewhere also it will take the particular center point automatically see if i am just taking the line if i am clicking uh, somewhere so you need to go here and you need to select the center first then if you are clicking somewhere also it will take the particular point and then it is also showing the midpoint for center even this also applicable so these are all the snap points and here we also have button bar so you you can keep this somewhere also if you want so like this so what are all the things you have here in name we can also see that in icons so you can just have in vertical or horizontal placements if you don't want you can also close it but here we also have perpendicular so when you are just drawing a line like this so if i want to draw a line perpendicular to this point so the perpendicular is not coming then you can select the perpendicular see then the perpendicular point is showing so you can click it so from this point this point is the perpendicular point so in this we also have acute snap so here you can able to see some of the options so this we can able to select or unselect so based on that we will get the outputs also having multi snaps so multi snap also we have multi snap 1 multi snap 2 multi snap 3 so here you can select what are all the things you want see in this uh, multi snap 1 we have this combination only intersection key point nearest but in 2 we have intersection key point center but in 3 we have only midpoint intersection center so like that you can able to customize it then you can able to have so that you can also select from here multi snap 1 multi snap 2 like that so if i'm just going for multi snap 1 then it is showing the midpoint end point even the nearest points so this is what we have here intersection key point and nearest but 
this key point also selected right that's why even it is showing a midpoint also so when you click here and then when you click the button bar you are available with this one okay here some of the tools also missing how to get those uh, snaps also you need to over your mouse near the key point snap right click then you can just click show all then everything it will be shown there and you can also see in the list here also you can unselect whatever you want or don't want for example if i am just uh, taking the center snap away and then click ok see then that it is missing here then right click and then you can just go for show all then it will come here visible actually this also we can also switch it on or switch it off when it is switch it off then we are not getting anything when it is switching on then we are getting the things so this is also we can also see here see if i am switching it off then we are not getting the midpoint visible again switching it on then it is coming So here if you want perpendicular then you can click the perpendicular then the perpendicular point it will come. So like this you can make use of the snap option in microstation. So this all tools are very important. So you can practice this when you are drafting something. So kindly make use of it. So this snap mode toolbox so we can also get from so control T. So here we have snap mode this you can select and you can click OK then this uh, toolbox will come. So you can take from there also or you can click here or you can select here or you can just go for button bar. So in all possible manner we can also get this snap mode toolbox in microstation.